What's going on there, folks? Good afternoon. Well, actually, good evening. It's the Earth Master here on this Wednesday night. Uh, it is January 4th, 2023, about 7.55 p.m. California time, where it is a wet one out there and very windy right now. I get about 45 mile per hour gust, uh, and that's the lighter winds that are expected here along the West Coast. We'll cover the weather update here uh, towards the end of this video. Uh, latest activity shows a 2.2 earthquake into the region of California. The latest quake here on the globe. Also notice some activity down there in New Zealand kicking up. The rest of the Western Pacific here, oh gosh, pretty quiet. All right, uh, let's go over to the USGS map as we look at the activity here in California. Again, the latest 2.2 earthquake outside of the Colinga area. Looks like at about 24 kilometers deep. Now I'm not 100% certain if this is the correct depth or not. It's rather deep for this area. So it has been, uh, looks like an automatic status. So the computer system, preliminary data system put out the uh, depth there for that earthquake. Once someone looks at it, as far as a geologist goes, uh, it could get upgraded, downgraded, and also the uh, location and the depth could be adjusted. Um, one earthquake over here around the Ridgecrest area from earlier seen a 3.0 coming in uh, it's been a little spotty here throughout the ridgecrest area but uh looks like things starting to fill in slightly southern california one earthquake off the san jacinto san jacinto fault zone near oasis is it really an oasis down there uh 1.1 at nine kilometers deep all right northern california not a whole lot going on aside from this massive bomb cyclone that they've been mentioning on the weather channel and other news agencies uh it's definitely uh, pretty windy again we'll get to that here in just a second 2.5 earthquake near klamath falls 16 kilometers deep um I'm trying to think what's out here maybe some old volcanoes um what do we got buck peak little aspen butte Quite a few boot uh, boots, <laughs> quite a few buttes out here. Goodness, oh man! Uh, and that is just to the uh, west northwest there of the Klamath Falls area. Uh, not a whole lot through the Pacific Northwest, as far as Washington and uh, Oregon goes. Pretty quiet. Only a couple small earthquakes from earlier. Yellowstone National Park, not a zip zero shown up there on the map. But just for verification, let's check out the live data here. And um, that's, that's a confirmation there. Nothing going on as uh, far as earthquake activity goes. Rest of the country, very minimal and spotty uh, at best. There, not a whole lot to report. Oh, man, I just seen the lights blink. I got to get this update done before the power goes down. Um, earthquake activity throughout Alaska, very minimal. And uh, if you notice here, along the Western Pacific and adjacent plates around Taiwan, uh, Philippines, Indonesia, things have gone quiet. Um, but looking here at the EMSC model, uh, that's kind of a verified uh, statement as well. Things are minimal across the, across the area as far as even smaller quakes go. We have seen some newer activity down here in New Zealand kicking up. Uh, that appears to be an area of interest currently. Nothing showing up here through the USGS map. So uh, let's go over here to the GeoNet uh, New Zealand area. Let's see if I can find out where it's at. I'm always, uh, I am always overlooking it. And tonight is one of those nights. <laughs> of course, I'm soaking wet. Well, I got my rain jacket on, but I've been out in the field uh, observing the winds. And they're strong. They're about 45 miles per hour right now, but we're expecting 70 mile per hour gusts here in uh, <clears throat> eight o'clock nine probably about two hours or so our strongest winds will be uh, arriving uh, weak earthquake about two hours ago 3.2 couple other twos throughout the area um, now these are mainly around north island new zealand area let me check out the uh, all magnitudes and see what we have here 2.7 about four minutes ago uh, some other small microquake activity, but for the most part, these threes coming in, looks like South Island, New Zealand as well. I would say definitely seeing a little bit of increase in activity here across the New Zealand region um, currently tonight. 
Uh, not a whole lot to report across the uh, volcanic drums. Some of the larger quakes look like they're showing up um, on some of the seismographs, but there's no major swarms, no major activity, just a little bit of noticeable increasing activity around the New Zealand area. And then, of course, that's in one of our watch zones uh, for, um, for some larger movement. As uh, far as Papua New Guinea, Fiji area, goodness, uh, the last earthquake looks like a 4.9 into the Tonga Trench, 391 kilometers deep. So we're seeing that return of deeper movement, uh, but a pause here westward. What that pause means, well, uh, I think we need to watch the west coast and adjacent plates over here along the eastern areas. Uh, that could be a sign that that teeter-totter effect is uh, starting to work its way to, uh, towards California. Uh, around Kilauea Volcano, some activity, most of this activity deep uh, below the Kilauea Crater area. What that means? Well, uh, I think it's something big. I'm just not 100% certain yet. Uh, I just find it rather odd that things came to a complete stop here at this volcano about the same time that, uh, well, the um, Mauna Loa eruption stopped. Uh, let me see what we got for hazard notifications here. What I want to see is the live seismograph readings, if we can. And, uh, man, is the USGS down? Are we up? Looks like we're up. Alrighty, something looks like they may be down there. The Volcano Hazards map. Hazard notification system is up. Let me see if we can access uh, some data here. The Kilauea most recent update here was put out yesterday, it looks like. Uh, seismic activity is variable with occasional periods of heightened seismicity be beneath and surrounding the crater. What does that mean, though? Come on, let us know. Uh, but it says no significant changes have been as observed at the summit or in either rift zone. Um, it looks like none of this activity has had any obvious effect on volcanic unrest, supposedly, from these folks here. Uh, volcanic tremor remains weak to non-existent. Uh, summit tilt meters track several multi-day deflation inflation events over the past week. Uh, looks like they have decreased in magnitude compared to earlier um, events. But uh, just, I just want to see if I can access this volcano hazard map here. Uh, it just doesn't look like it wants to cooperate tonight. Oh, there we go. Okay, right at the last second. Um, let me pop in here real quick and see what we got for data at the Kilauea Volcano region. Want to look at some live seismographs, if they are up and running, that is. Um, let's see what we got real quick. Stand by for a second. Of course, that one's offline. And um, that one is operationable. Operable, a 1-5. There we go, today's date. Well, at least a UTC time. Still some activity overnight. Uh, this is from yesterday here. Remember that odd readings here on the seismograph that looks like magma uh, movement or intrusion of some sort in these long duration events uh, earthquake activity here over the last few hours in the afternoon afternoon uh, looks fairly minimal i don't see any of that uh, any of this reading here as far as recent activity goes all right uh, what else we got here around the puerto rico area one earthquake or two earthquakes maybe a handful from the southwestern edge of the Puerto Rico area. A couple twos and some ones out there today. Uh, let's see what else we got for South America. That's been kind of lighting up a little bit. Confirmation of the teeter-totter effect out here along the eastern Pacific plate and adjacent plates uh, within the vicinity. Uh, 4.9 Peru, 113 kilometers deep. Prior to that, we did see a 5.1 into the Chile area, 130 kilometers deep. Uh, so... Activity appears to be picking up definitely uh, on these uh, this area around North America and the South America plate, but also at the same time deeper movement indicating uh, some much much uh, possibly some larger activity uh, along the Kermadec Trench Tonga Trench area uh, with heightened movement around New Zealand. So we'll watch that here 
uh, for the uh, time being. 2.2 into the area of California now. Looks like a latest earthquake here. Again, outside of Kalinga. All right, space weather activity real quick. Um, not a whole lot happening on the Earth side of the sun, as far as us looking at the sun here. Definitely seen some activity on the far side. Maybe potentially an X flare kicked off uh, on January 3rd uh, from a sunspot. Uh, it was kind of a long duration event. One of these right here uh, from the third time frame. Uh, and that sunspot is kind of uh, rotating in the view. We'll watch that here in the coming days. It looks massive, um, very massive, and it can't really get a, uh, a good look currently at the region, but it looks like there's some complex uh, sunspot uh, magnetic fields in that uh, regional sunspot. So we'll watch that. Uh, it's been a while since we've had an X flare. I, mean, I know we had some last year, but, uh, you know, I think we'll uh, probably get some more here soon. 95% chance for a C flare and flare at 35, 10% for an X flare. Uh, current aurora, aurora forecast looks pretty minimal. Not a whole lot going on. All right, uh, weather activity here. I want to bring up the animation loops and show you guys the system that's coming in here uh, to the west coast. There's the California coast, uh, of course, here within the view. There's a main cold front band, a lot of convection going on with this system, a lot of colder air behind it. Notice the flashing here indicating some uh, lightning density along with this uh, massive low pressure system. And again, the, the wind seems like it's died down right now, uh, but we did have gusts here about 30 minutes ago up to about 40 miles an hour 45 miles per hour uh, and we picked up uh, oh shoot about an inch of rain or so and we're expecting more rain and the main wind event coming up around 10 roughly about 10 to midnight or so west coast time and we're expecting gusts up to about oh 70 miles per hour they're stating and some models Here's the current view here from Windy. There's that massive low pressure system out here. Uh, earlier it had low pressure uh, gradients down to the category three hurricane strength for as the uh, barometric pressure goes. Now wind gusts currently offshore with this system. Oh, about 87 miles per hour or so, maybe slightly higher. Now here into the California region uh, around Chico or so, looks like we're having gusts up to about 42 or so. But uh, we are expecting that to increase slightly around the 11 o'clock, 10 o'clock or 11 o'clock time frame when the peak wind events will be kicking up here um, for the Sacramento Valley as the uh, pressure gradients get a little bit closer. And tomorrow we'll see this thing kind of inch closer uh, and then it will scoot off with the jet stream towards the north. But we're expecting a little bit more rain over the... Uh, over the day tomorrow uh, rain accu rain accumulation rates here still fairly reasonable and and somewhat high this is the next three days around the chico area uh, now the next 10 days or so still shows um, i didn't mean to move that uh, still shows some um, potential for uh, seeing at least maybe between these these about eight inches or so maybe up around 10 inches in the sacramento valley from numerous storm systems that are funneling into the west coast so this is just storm number one and i have a lot of standing water outside already uh, around my place in the field driveway backyard front yard the ditch out front it's uh there's a lot of water so everything's soaked uh, and i can only imagine what it's going to look like a week from now so we'll continue to watch it and monitor it uh, either way i'm prepared got generator um, all set up if the power goes down tonight but if for some reason the stream does go down due to a power outage issue then um, I'm probably not going to run the stream um, on the generator um, because for, for one I may not even have any internet uh, due to that uh, power outage but I'll wait until the main power comes back on and then I'll fire back up the stream just FYI because it's uh, it's going to be a windy night
very windy. I, I think it's kind of eerie because we had a whole bunch of gusts and some wind and all of a sudden it's quiet. I'm only reading about about 10 mile per hour wind gusts out there right now um, here at my place. So something's uh, something's coming. I think we got some big wind coming here pretty soon. So I got to get this update going, get it out on the channel. Um, again, I posted the stream may go down due to high winds here uh, into the Chico area of Northern California. So just to let you know, if it's offline, that uh, that's going to be the reason. I'm hoping it doesn't. I would love to see the power stay up because I really don't want to be woken up around midnight or so. I'm really tempted to stay up that late uh, for the main event just to see how strong these winds will be, um, which might be an option. Uh, I might stay up just to video it, see how it goes. All right, guys, we'll catch you a little bit later um, tomorrow, possibly early morning. Uh, for another update, unless something major happens here on the home front, which I doubt, uh, but we will definitely keep an eye on things. Alrighty, guys, have a good night. Stay dry, stay warm. There's already a whole bunch of power outages out there uh, across the area, Bay Area, and certain regions uh, around Ukiah. So that's just a tip of the iceberg. A main wind event coming in here soon. Take care.